So I use my Wi-Fi hotspot from my phone, but of course I'm limited in the bandwidth that I can use. I get something like 20 or 24 gigabytes per month. And the files that I sync to Dropbox, I'd rather not rather not be syncing them from my Wi-Fi hotspot. So I want to see if there's a way that I can sync, uh, prevent syncing when I'm on this particular Wi-Fi hotspot from my phone. Stop wireless, stop Dropbox for Windows desktop syncing when on metered wireless connection. I use a wireless MiFi metered internet connection at home. And while traveling on a laptop, I periodically also use on various unmetered wireless connections. Unfortunately, the Dropbox desktop application is one of those applications that does not respect the Windows metered connection setting. Even though I've set my MiFi connection to metered, Dropbox thinks nothing of quietly burning my entire data allowance, downloading things I could wait for unmetered connection to download. Dropbox also has no pause and stay paused until unpause feature I can find. I've seen a possible option here on a question that is similar but not specific to Dropbox, but that only works for that user because unlike me, their metered connections are also all cable LAN connections. Mine is wireless. My current workaround is to use a firewall that monitors data usage. I'm using Glasswire, which is really easy to use, and forbid Dropbox from using the network until I manually reallow it. However, this option, this is open to user error. I could easily forget to untick this when I finish using unmetered Wi-Fi. And some applications sneak past firewalls like this by running as a service and pigbacking on host process for Windows services, so it's not foolproof. My current brute force approach is using the free firewall program Glass. Glasswire is really easy to use and useful for conserving data because it shows you what is using, how much data, and where and lets you shut off individual programs access to the internet. Glasswire starts automatically and remembers your settings so you can turn drop off Dropbox off once and forget about it until you're on an unmetered connection. The only problem and the reason I'm keeping this question open is that there's a risk you might allow Dropbox to access data while unmetered and forget to turn it off before going metered again, in which case you wouldn't know Dropbox was gorging itself on expensive metered data until either it popped up a notice to tell you it had finished, or you had happened to look at the Glasswire's usage screen. I have this problem on Windows and Mac OS. Well, I'm using Ubuntu. Another option is to only automatically sync a very small set of files, and then to use the web interface when syncing particular files. Let's see if there's anything in the Dropbox UI preferences. Proxy. Sync. I also have Office 365, so I could use that, and it might respect the metered connection. Office 365 Linux client. Let's check software. Microsoft. Office. So I'm not seeing a Microsoft Office 365 client. I wonder if we could use the command line interface to Dropbox. Dropbox command line interface. Dropbox stop. So I guess there's no pause. Dropbox running. Dropbox running. Dropbox file status. How about Dropbox stop? And you can see that Dropbox went away. Dropbox start. And there it did start. So now the idea would be have something monitoring in the background the name of the Wi Fi hotspot that we're on. And if it's a particular name, then stop Dropbox. I guess we could do this with a cron job. So we could do it with a cron job. So now the question is how do we tell which Wi Fi we're on? How do I find the name of the SSID I'm connected to from the command line? NM tool pipe to grep for this should show just the line with the SSID you are connected to. Edit NM tool utility had ceased to exist. So in 16.04 and newer releases, please use any of the methods suggested by my esteemed colleagues below. For example, NM CLI T F active SSID dev Wi Fi pipe to grep for yes. Pipe to cut dash D F2 works well. IW get ID 
provides the SSID. IW get ID dash R gives just the name. Although the question has already been answered, the IW config tool does display the eSSID of the currently connected Wi Fi network. Perhaps it does not work with connections managed through Network Manager, but it works with interfaces managed through if up, if down. This guy had to use sudo in front of IW. Hopefully, we don't have to do that. You can also use the IW tool to obtain the Wi Fi link parameters, which includes the currently associated SSID for WLAN 0. So let's try some of these. This one looked the simplest IW get ID. IW get ID dash R. So now we'll put this in a cron job. Dropbox, stop. We are connected. Let's see if this stops Dropbox. Yes, it did. This line into a cron tab. Cron tab dash E. Instead of SSID, evaluate it. So there's what we need to put into Prontab. Now let's start Dropbox and see if it disables. 851, we'll see if at 852 Dropbox stops. I pasted the wrong command. Let's see. At 854, Dropbox stops. I don't think that's going to work, so let's put this in its own script. I'll put that in my bin directory. Alright, let's test this manually. So Dropbox is running. Let's put this into the cron tab. Okay, Dropbox is started. 8.58, see if at 8.59, Dropbox stops. Cron logging, var log syslog. Do I not have cron privileges? Etsy cron.d, cron.deny. Is there not a new line at the end of the cron? Yep, there is not. The script file names in cron.d, cron.daily, cron.hourly should not contain dot. Otherwise, run parts will skip them. Well, that's an S bin. It's 9.11. At 9.12, does this turn off? Oh boy, so there was a lot of a lot of gotchas there. There needs to be a new line at the end of your cron tab. There can't be any dots in the script name. And the path is different in the cron. So I had to specify user sbin. 